here's a massive PTM 6150 six channel amplifier it's got the uh, turn on relay clicking and so the amplifier basically start going click 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 because there's a short circuit and uh, this is what it does I will just show you So I'm going to take it apart and, uh, and see what I can find. There's a massive amount of energy stored in these capacitors even after you unplug and turn off the amplifier. So keep your fingers to yourself. Well, it looks like we had a small fire in this area down here that by the leg of the transistor is all burned in that area. You can see a burn mark on this cap. So it looks like some of the magic smoke was let out. We're going to have to put it back in. This thermal compound is pretty dried up. No good. And there's some damage right there. Note that shorts over here. So somebody had repaired that that right there somebody built a bridge okay look at this there's a bunch of cracked solder joints and you know that can cause arcing and uh, voltage spikes and cause damage but I couldn't find any dead shorts so apparently uh, the board had been repaired you can see it's right here so somebody had fixed that and these uh, solder joints in the area are okay but then as you get down the board you find a bunch of bad connections I gotta resolder the entire board Okay, I went ahead and worked the entire circuit board. This is the turn on relay board. I am, I'm gonna go through it and uh, check the components, the multimeter. So basically I'm looking for a, a bad semiconductor. This little cap doesn't look so good. All right, well, I'm gonna replace it with a new one. Here's a really, really good. This brand is Kemet. Makes so much of, some of the best caps in the world. And this is 100 volts, 100 microfarads, 100 volts. The old one was 100 microfarads, 50 volts. So this is much better. Okay, so I replaced the 100 microfarad 50 volt capacitor that was bad now there's another tiny um, electrolytic there so i am going to replace it as well it's 10 microfarads uh, 50 volts and i'm going to replace it with a 10 microfarads 63 volts and this one is a nichicon okay well the relay board has been recapped and uh, there are 
uh, six electrolytic caps on each one of these output boards so I will replace them as well. So the relay clicking is gone. I was I was sure it was on something on the output stage, but I was wrong. The problem was here. Now I'm glad I removed the output stage and looked at it because I found all those bad solders. And had I not done that, I would have never found them. Well, I have the amplifier uh, output uh, boards out. I can replace the electrolytic caps. And, uh, you know, basically with the new electrolytic caps and the new thermal grease and uh, readjust the bias, basically it would be uh, a very nice reliable amplifier most and by the way even after the amplifier is uh, turned off and even unplugged negative 39 and 39 volts All right, this board has been recapped with a multimeter. I can check the diodes and the transistors and I already did. So go through all the diodes, check the resistors, make sure that once I install this, I don't have to take it back out. Oh, damn. Oh, that one broke. Barely put any force whatsoever. Oh, well, what a pain in the ass. I'm gonna have to drill, drill it out and put another one in. Damn it! One hour later, the broken screw has been drilled out. Okay, the turn on relay problem has been solved. The amplifier has been fixed in that regard. Now I gotta test all the channels and make sure all six channels work. That one works, that channel works. Okay, so that channel works, this channel works, five out of six. All right, another one bites the dust, success. The amplifier has been repaired. I just have to adjust the bias. Luckily, the side panel is removable, so I can take the tiny knobs and insert them into that channel right there and then take a stick and push the knot down to where it needs to go and then put the little screw on it from the top. The stupidest system I've ever seen. Checking the DC offset, it is extremely low that is just absolutely perfect 4.3 millivolts 6.8 millivolts 4.4 0.2 1.1 1.3 1 and 2.6 the power dissipation caused by this dc offset it went up to uh, 6.8 millivolts so the form uh, formula for power we can use is v square over r so in this case six millions of a watt incredibly low I am taking a look at all the six channels on the os oscilloscope and they all look fantastic with perfect sine waves. Here's a close-up of the oscilloscope playing a one kilohertz sine wave. Looks pretty good. That's copyright free music from YouTube. This is the most important test. The most important test. The listening test to me. This is what matters. So the amplifier is fixed. Another one buys the dust. Blown away by the quality of an the hell of a pain in the ass to work on this amp. As you can see, the disassembly and assembly was just a, a mission. But uh, I enjoy it. I like the challenge. I don't. I don't like it too easy. Uh, I'll get bored. So it was a good, good experience. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. Rocco and I would really appreciate it. Rocco, say thank you. There we go. Rocco, Rocco can balance very well. <laughs>
Thank you very much. Like and subscribe, please. Thank you.